It's a brisk fall day in Georgian Bay, about halfway between Perry Sound and Sudbury, and Chief Wayne McQuabby is making a trip he's taken many times. He's on his way to visit a key site in a project that he and his fellow band members hope will transform their First Nation and enable them to kickstart their economy. Some of our members are living on $200 a month. Not acceptable. We're not going to make moccasins and do beadwork and sell them on the side of the road here, you know. It just doesn't cut it anymore. We, we need to be, uh, become self-reliant and move forward. The solution lies on the eastern shores of Georgian Bay in a massive clean energy project that will bring the small, progressive community upwards of $15 million a year for the next two decades and possibly beyond. You'll never see this uh, again in my lifetime anyway, uh, an opportunity to have uh, this for our own people and, and help lead some of the younger ones into it, you know. I think it not only ho offers hope, it g gives everybody an opportunity that they dreamed about. It's a project that literally ticks off all the boxes. Clean energy, reducing thousands of tons of greenhouse gas emissions, and First Nations economic development. For the people of Henvey Inlet First Nation, striking the right balance between development and protecting their ancestral lands is critical. It is incredibly important because we as Anishinaabe people consider ourselves caretakers of the land. So in order to have a project of this magnitude, we all had to think very carefully and, and talk it over with our families and ask a lot of questions. The real concern with the, uh, the community was uh, the environment, obviously. With that in mind, the band set out to find a solution about 10 years ago that would provide independence for their nation while maintaining stewardship of the land. The answer, harnessing the wind. In the early days, the challenge for the band was finding the right partner. Obviously the band uh, doesn't have the ability to go out and build a wind farm on and so and so we went through various partners and um, you know finally we met up with a uh, pattern. They really understood us. With a total of seven projects now on the go in Ontario and many others across the Americas, it's a partnership that Pattern CEO Mike Garland says is a first in many ways. It is on First Nations land and we are partners with the First Nations in a 50-50 deal. We think that the second part is this is a unique piece of land that has been in the First Nations for a thousand or more years and they've really focused on respecting that land and creating sustainable opportunities for their people on the land and so the thing that I, I think it really sets it apart is that that vision that they bring to the to the project where they see it as part of the long-term sustainability of their nation and the people that work there and live there and are part of the, the environment. The project now sits with Environment and Climate Change Canada who has the historic opportunity to approve the project once satisfied that Henvey has taken sufficient mitigation measures to protect sensitive species where the turbines will be built. The band hopes it will be approved soon. For Chief Wayne McQuabby and the people of Henvey Inlet, the wind that's been blowing across their ancestral lands for thousands of years now holds out the promise of a journey to independence on their own terms on their land. <laughs>